Hey Eagles, it's Maddie with Eagle News and today we'll be talking about our current events. First we're going to talk about the female turtles overpopulating. Scientists are predicting that because of climate change and the world getting hotter, turtles are laying more girl eggs. Cape Verde, an island off of Africa, inhabits one-sixth of the world's planet's nesting turtles. The amount of female turtles is already going up drastically. They found that 84% of the youngsters are now female. Researchers are worried that males could vanish in two or three decades. The same problems are happening around the world, and in Florida, researchers estimate 90% of the world's turtle hatchings are females. Thanks, Sally, for an interesting topic about the sea turtles. I'm going to talk about what really the elephants are sacred for. The elephant has a few special features. One is the long tusks. These are actually they're actually teeth. Another is the elephant's trunk. The trunk grows out of many elephants' nose and upper lip. The animal uses it for many things, uses it to drink, breathe, and feel. The elephant also uses the trunk to c communicate. It is very helpful for saying hello to sending signals to other elephants. They are herb herbivores, which means that they eat plants. They like to be around one another. The African elephant lives in family groups. The African elephant live in, lives most in Africa. Some live in forests and other lives in grasslands. There are about 500,000 elephants in the Africa today. That sounds like a big number, but it's much smaller than it used to be. There were once, one, once millions of elephants in Africa. Now let's go to Bella to let her talk about earworms. Thanks, Maddie. It's really sad how the elephants are dying. Have you ever wondered why a new song you haven't heard before gets stuck in your head? This happens because of something called an earworm that's in your ear. The a song stuck in your head is called an earworm. This is a song that replays in a loop in your head. A study shows that earworms are quite common, but the reason for them remains a mystery and that researchers are still trying to solve. According to scientist Elizabeth Margulius, um, an earworm tends to be this little fragment often bit off by the c chorus of the song that just plays and replays like it's stuck in a loop in your head. Welcome back, Eagles. Thanks for watching our current events. Bye!